Welcome back to Pinoy Bounce. And today's player highlight of the week goes to Andrew Wiggins. Andrew Wiggins averaging 31.6 points per game, 5.0 rebounds, and 5 assists per game in the last four or five games. And he's stepping up. He's acting like he's a first overall pick, which he is. And my question to you guys is, with all these injuries, who you guys think should step up? Pasco and Fred are already stepping up. Who should be the third option? Oh, OG just got injured, so we can't no, even take OG out of the question, guy. too. Yeah. Hopefully eye. he's okay. Yeah. And it was just funny that it was Kawhi that poked him in the eye, yeah. too. Yeah, it was Kawhi. Yeah, yeah it was Kawhi. His hand's too big. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what are you going to do? Like, he didn't probably didn't even do anything. He just put his Michael hand in, and then just extended, and then boom, right That's in the it. eye. Done. <laughs> yeah. But third option, I have to say, like, it's obviously all of us probably could agree that it's been a disappointing uh, start for Marc Gasol. Yeah. Yes. And he's, you know, like, he's get, he is getting older, but we need him to be that aggress More aggressive. aggressive big man. And yeah. he's passing, I know he's passing and getting those assist numbers up, but he's passing up a lot of shots that he usually should be taking. Yeah. And I I need to see him on the post more. I know he's seven foot one, like he can dominate still at this point of his career down the paint. And he, I think he still has that. I mean, if once you get to that point of your age, what what separates a lot of big men in, in the league is if their skills. Uh, mm -hmm. If they're a skilled big man like Jokic, Gasol, Pau Gasol was the same. There's a reason why he's still in the league. And Mark Gasol, I think you should utilize that at this point because they need him. Yeah, they need him because now gameplay is starting to be focused on Siakam and Fred Van Fleet, and they don't have anybody that can create their own shot. And he's the one that can really create his own shot in the post, and can really create shots for other people. For sure. Yeah. So and seeing the game against the Clippers, where Montrezl Hero, yes, he's strong, but he he have so much more inches on him, and he could easily take him on the post, and he was just shying away from it. Mm -hmm. Takes a lot of three pointers, as you guys probably see, mm -hmm. which is fine, but you gotta you gotta mix it up, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Uh, what about other people that are kind of slowly stepping up? Like, I've enjoyed watching them so Ooh. far. Like, Chris Boucher. Uh, Terrence J. Terrence Davis. Davis. And, and, and Ronnie Hollis. Terrence this man came out. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, I think, honestly, these injuries, obviously, once we heard about them, like, oh, God, like we're, we're kind of screwed. We're, we don't have them deep on the team. It surprised me it's so much. It's oh, yeah. In my opinion, yeah. it's a blessing in disguise because all it showed that it's a rebirth of like the bench benchmark yeah. Yeah. in a way and showing that we do have a deep team and these guys are capable. Mm -hmm. And this is a tough West Coast road trip and we're about to go, what, Five and one, four and one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's it's beautiful. Like team, and keep in mind, team we played, basketball. We played back to back mm -hmm. against the two top teams yeah. in the we West. We made the schedule, right? <laughs> but th th those are really good teams. I mean, uh, yeah. Lakers, Clippers, and Portland, and Portland, Portland Trail Blazers. These are really good teams. Even New Orleans, no slack. They're, yeah. they're yeah. home, they're, right? They're, yeah, they're good. And keep in mind, like we locked down those stars. Mm -hmm. Like they were what LeBron was five for fifteen. Like Kawhi was two, two for, for 11. 11. Lillard was two for 12. And we snapped Damian Lillard's 200 plus streak yeah, of right? scoring 10 points. Yeah. And Van Fleet in that box and one. Yeah. 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 So it's insane. I mean, not only the defense was there, but that game against Portland where both Siakam and, and Fred Van Fleet dominated over 30 points again. It's almost, it felt the same when we had that first game. Yeah. The opening game when it's Siakam and Fred Van Fleet again. Like, what does this say about kind of the development of how? Uh, the Raptors franchise are really taking in that uh, development lead that we have because now these players like Siakam and Fred have been seeing the improvement and the results of it, but you're also seeing slowly With the Boucher. steady growth of Boucher and oh, Terrence, yeah. Yeah. Terrence Davis. Well, like, keep in mind, Boucher was MVP during G League, right? G League MVP, yes. Defensive Player of the Year. Yep. Yeah, and Defensive Player of the Year. That happened the same thing with Siakam back in, like, what, 2017? Yep. So I just feel like the development of our G League has really helped into the For sure. into the franchise of, of the Raptors. Too. Freddie yeah. played G League. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So undrafted G League players that you develop within your within the hometown here. Mm -hmm. So, like, this is what we need. And that's I feel like that's not what most of these other teams are doing, right? So this is something that, you know, they can probably learn from us as well, right? Mm -hmm. And Masai has just proven once in over and over again, he's, he's finding these gems, these hidden gems, undrafted, Terrence Davis, Fred Van Fleet. And I think Matt Devlin made a point last night's game. Uh, the highest draft pick on the floor was Rondé Hollis Jefferson at 21. Yeah. Wow. Everybody else was undrafted or after that. Yeah, so yeah, that's, is, uh, that's pretty pick, amazing. Yeah. Norman Powell, late pick. Yeah. Uh, Everyone was a late Siakam, pick, Siakam, late pick. Yeah. So, the, like you said, the yeah. development is crazy, crazy, all-time high right now. I, I think if anyone in the league, in terms of how they should look at how to develop their young end or how, where to find their gems, I think they should 
they should use the Raptors organization as a, as a blueprint. Yeah. As a blueprint. It is a blueprint. To really yeah. get that, uh, to get the best out of the players that are out there in the G League trying to develop or internationally, mm-hmm. right? Because Matt Thomas was a good find too. Yep. Right? And I just feel like now with Matt Thomas, he needs to fi- like find that sense of rhythm. Mm-hmm. Whereas you're coming from Euro League to the NBA. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's 99. To- <laughs> yeah. So like you, you see him with those shots. Like it's there, but you just, the utilization of the ball, movement of the ball, um, his defense is a little bit wonky. That's probably his weak. That's probably but that is good. not what they signed him nice. for. Yeah. 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 Know, known for. This yeah. is why they have players like, OG, they have players yeah. like Siakam, Norman Powell, and, and even Boucher, mm-hmm. right? So that's why they have players like him. That's why they brought in Stanley Johnson and our um, Roundy Hollis. I yeah. really want to see Stanley Johnson step up. I mean, he's a little bit clueless when you bring yeah. him to the court right I mean, now. I was really high on him in his rookie year. I, yeah. He used NBA comparison was like Ron Artest type defense. Yeah. Yeah. But, but he, he has the body. Yeah, he, he does. Body. Oh, yeah, but oh. he hasn't shown it offensively. We'll yeah. see. I mean, like, that's what happened with Ronde Hollis Jefferson, right? We, mm-hmm. I thought he was a little slow until he started stepping up. Oh, yeah. Like, he had a double double against. Against Portland, Portland. right? Mm-hmm. Eight and, rebounds, and all near offensive, against right? The Clippers, yeah. Exactly. So I just feel like, you know, his time will come. I mean, like what Nick Nurse said, Nick Nurse said he has like everyone has to prove that they want to play, right? And mm-hmm. these guys have shown it. You know, it's a matter of now with Stanley Johnson. So what do you guys think? I know it's very early into the season. Uh, how far can this team go? Because I I can honestly say that this team, any the East is wide open. Mm-hmm. Philadelphia has question marks. They don't look the same without Jimmy Butler. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bucks is missing Malcolm Brogdon big time. He's and playing Chris like Wilson's an all-star. Too, yep. so it's like and the different. Celtics, they're decent. They're yeah. they're first they in the East right Gordon now. Hayward but they lost yeah. Gordon Hayward. And but I think it's wide open and we can we can come out of the East based on the uh, team play and the elite defense that we're showing. Yeah. I feel like I've been so much more excited watching the season game than with Kawhi. Yeah. Is, I don't, I don't, know, don't if know if it's, that's just me, but like... Step out. It, because it's yeah. surprising you. Yeah. Yes. That's what it is. You don't know who's going to step out. Because <laughs> when yeah. Boucher's dropping threes, blocking shots, I'm like, this is it's impressive. impressive. Yeah. It's, right? a team, it's a team effort. Yeah. The guy's averaging, yeah. what, 1.5? Yeah. Like and blocks. obviously, like, the development of Spicy P. Yeah. It's, just, right. it's just beautiful He's showing moves that we... We didn't think he's capable of, and he's yeah. crossing over guards and crossing over Davis. Oh, Davis! I screamed <laughs> yeah, when I God. saw that. He's on the rise to yeah. becoming a superstar, and I think I said on this show two years ago yeah. that he was the most important part of that bench. Yeah, and now he's on his way up. So now he's not an important part of the that's, bench; he's important part of the team yeah. now. Yeah. All right. My my last take on this is I think what's going to help Toronto as a team, or what's their biggest advantage, is the continuity. As a, as the roster is literally the same as who won the mm-hmm. championship last year, last season. The only difference is they've added players that Rondé and Stanley Johnson, and lost literally just two players, which yeah. is Stanley Green and, and Kawhi. Kawhi. So I. This is their biggest advantage, and I think it's going to really help. Championship pedigree them. for sure. Mm-hmm. Oh, for sure. Yeah, exactly. It's on their backs and everything yeah. too. Mm-hmm. Well, to end it off, James, what are your thoughts on this? Um, well, just a random fact. Um, so there's a stat in NBA.com. According to NBA.com, and they posted it in NBA.com, and they played eight All Stars this whole season, and their average field goal is thirty six point eight against eight All Stars. So. You, the Raptors are playing great defense against this All-Stars. So let's talk about a different thing. Let's talk about the Hoops Mario set. Hoops Mario set is not sponsored by anybody. So, but <laughs> today's Hoops Mario set is Lance Stevenson. And he's all the way <laughs> in the East Coast. So check this highlight out. 